Hi Leo, welcome to my main channel, Chelsea Love Tarot. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I've made some changes to this channel where I'll be posting all 12 individual sign readings once a week and live stream every now and then. In this reading, we're going to get you some important love messages that you need to hear this week. Today is the 5th, 5th of February 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 4.35 a.m. Okay Leo, let's get you your reading started spirits and angels please show me for leo important important love messages that leo leo need to hear this week all right leo please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and whoever could be in your energy field this week this reading could resonate with you in the past currently or in the future Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo Capcom Taurus so or thinking about this person. Um, could also be a Gemini, Pisces, um, a lot of air energy here as well. It doesn't matter. It can be any sign, okay? Leo, again, bear in mind, it could go vice versa. Um, there is a very slow energy, Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is very slow. Either you, you're going to be feeling restless or currently you're feeling restless because somebody is taking his or her time um, to either talk to you, reply to your messages, or um, taking the time to reconcile with you if currently both of you are separated, okay? Because the full source of verse is this very restless energy. Like, when is this going to happen? Or when is this person going to talk to me? When is this person going to reply to my messages? And it's a choice, right? The lovers right here. It feels like somebody here. When I say somebody, that means it could be you or the other person. Somebody here is taking his or her time to make a decision in regards to whether to call, to reconcile, or to go on a date for each and every one of you. It's different. But I feel like a decision will be made. Maybe not this week or may don't take the timing too literally, okay? And also this a general reading. Um, either it's this week or next week, but there is a decision that somebody needs to make here, okay? Um, whether to reconcile or whether to go on another date or whether to continue talking or take the connection to the next level and ten of cups here is in reverse judgment and reverse because there's this energy of like i don't know if i'm making the right judgment call i can't quite decide but what i can decide right now the seven of cups and reverse is to kind of delay things right leo it could be you delaying making a decision in regards to talking to someone or making decision to choose somebody if you have options um making decision to reconcile with somebody i still see the process is like an ongoing process this week unless if it's not you it's the other person okay perhaps if it's vice versa then the other person your person uh, may be taking his or her time to make a decision in regards to you. Some of you, it's like, should I offer a commitment? Or should I reach out, right? Or should we have this new start? Um, judgment and reverse, it's almost like that energy. I'm not sure yet because I'm not sure if it's a good judgment call to even make a decision right now. Hence, the Knight of Pentacles is moving very slowly. So somebody could be moving very slowly towards you because they still can't quite decide okay and the ten of cups in reverse unsure if there is a future unsure if this connection is going to be uh, a an emotionally fulfilling connection right three cups in reverse nine of swords in reverse again a lot of restlessness that i'm sensing here could be from your part on your part or on this person's part and the high persistent in reverse i do read it as like a paranoid a paranoia energy someone may be feeling very paranoid scared um very uneasy very 
very restless again uh, this energy of like I need to make a decision I need to make a decision um, but I guess the Knight of Pentacles being it so slowly it's because it could be you or this person right moving slowly because this I don't want to make the wrong move I don't want to make the wrong judgment call Five of Wands, I'm up first. Not truly like actively fighting for this connection or not actively pursuing. Eight of Wands, I'm up first. Not moving fast. Again, a lot of cards that are indicating like somebody wants to move things fast, but they can't. Or somebody wants to move things fast, but the other person is moving slowly. So it feels like the pace isn't the same. Okay, King of Wands here is about first. This is your energy. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. For some of you, um, Leo, if you are single, I do see you putting a lot of your time, energy into work, right? Making that very conscious decision that I need to focus on my work because I need to make more money or I need to get a job, a new job, promotion, raise. It could be any of those things. And just basically not really actively um, pursuing love or a person. I see you like just standing back and just wait for things to happen. Um, and again, the lovers, for some of you, you might be intimate with somebody this week. Now, that I'm not sure, to be honest, if this intimacy has something to do. For some of you, maybe this is like a fling one night stand but it could also be um, a choice to reconcile with somebody this week it could be someone from your past as well for each and every one of you it's different let's see a bit more here leo six of swords in my first knight of wands in my first see all these fire energy which is yours they are involved first there's a bit of um you know for some of you might feel as though it could be you feeling unattractive okay I'm not saying that you're unattractive a lot of leos are very attractive i have many leo friends who are very attractive um and six of wands and lovers it's almost like i don't feel attractive i feel like you know, or I can't meet somebody whom I'm attracted to as well. It could mean that. And I'm just going to focus on my work with the Nine of Pentacles. Some of you may feel like either it's your choice or if it's your choice, it's you again choosing to not really want to pursue love or pursue somebody too desperately or too quickly. Okay, there is non-action here. That's what I'm seeing. Um, but it could also go vice versa. Somebody whom you could be thinking about dealing with currently may not want to pursue um, love with you that quickly. Because the thing is, the Nine of Pentacles is, a, again, very slow energy. But it doesn't mean that this person doesn't like you. It does look like this person likes you. And the Nine of Pentacles is them um, just wanting to move things slowly and doesn't really want to move things so quickly so it might seem as though they're not interested but i don't think so i feel like this person is interested because the lovers is right here this person is attracted to you but maybe they don't show it in a way that you like them to show you all right Leo, this is your reading. I hope you resonated in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. I haven't been told that I'm not accurate at all. I'm very, very accurate. So um, if you want further confirmation, if you have somebody on your mind that you like to know how they truly feel about you, it can be any questions except health questions. Um, you can send me an email or you can book me through Linktree. All of the information is in a box below. All right, Leo. And don't forget to hit on the bell notification button. If you like to be notified every time when I do your weekly, every time when I post your weekly prediction reading and also every time when I go live. Take care, Leo. Love you. Bye.